agenda. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're live. This is Ted Hicks from Late Night Parents. Ways to follow the show, latenightparents.com. To my left, no, excuse me, to my right, but to your left, is Tony D. Knucklehead for life. Work. We also have graced once again. Grace. <laughs> the I'm getting the <laughs> yeah, he I got blessed it. us again on a Friday. Excuse me, on a Friday. On Tuesday. A, on a Tuesday. Um, and, I, and I'll be truthful to you guys. So the, the Las Vegas Aces and the New York Liberty play on Thursday at 10 p.m. And I usually we usually go live on Thursday nights, but I actually want to watch the game. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, you know what? This is like I've supported the WNBA, but I said, you know what? Let me really give you know the local team that that extra support and watching the games and learning the names of the players and everything else like that. So that's the reason why we're live right now. How are you guys doing? Chilling, man. Chilling. Rich, how you doing? doing? Doing good, Ted. Doing good, uh, Tony. And uh, thank you once again for uh, you know this early start. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm, I'm more than happy to be here. This is a real treat for me, as always. Very soon. It's going to be uh, evening, afternoon, parents. Because <laughs> we're going earlier and earlier and earlier. But um, I know everyone has a busy schedule. Not named Rich, because we are not retired. Oh, we here we go. Not, You're rubbing it in. I'm just as busy. We, we are not living the life of luxury in oh. beautiful New York State. Hmm. Um, I love New York. The, you know, hustle and bustle of Nassau County. Tony D down there in Georgia. Georgia. Chris Technician, how you doing? And Sadie, how you doing? Sadie, how you doing? Thank y'all for coming through. What what's on your guys' minds for tonight? What are you thinking of? What are you you you're getting into? Are you doing anything for for a holiday? What's happening in your worlds? Go for it, Rich. I'll wait. Well, I, yeah, doing the broadcasting bit. I, I got up and gamed and stuff, and uh, got knocked off after 42 minutes. Didn't let it discourage me. And then broadcast for another hour and a half, uh, doing the uh, the Lord of the Rings online game that I do. And stuff, so that's good. I just, I'm just, uh, I, I'm loving the new box. I keep on saying that. Uh, and uh, hey, Chris, and uh, it's just the quality as far as that. You know, it's just like uh, it's one thing when you start broadcasting, you try to to fine tune the things and stuff like that. And uh, I think we see it on all the shows that we do and stuff like that that we try and make it a little bit better as far as that goes. So uh, um, and it's uh, it's good getting the crossfeeds from other yes. broadcasters and stuff like that. I think that's very important. It, it's uh, um it's it's something that we 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 don't re, you don't usually think about, but it's just like wow, they're doing that. I like, can do that and stuff like that. And uh, um so um you know the big thing that I've been doing over the last well this last weekend was doing the guest stars on uh here on Twitch. Well no we're not on Twitch we're on StreamYards but we're on Twitch and YouTube. I had so many alerts in for this broadcast. <laughs> I know when Ted's on, I tell you that. And, and Tony, I, I get those alerts. So, um, but it, it's all good fun. But uh, yeah, it's just, uh, I, I, being retired, I, I can still find myself, I'm, I'm busy, but I'm a relaxed busy. I'm having fun. And it's just, uh, I had my sister, my sister in law stopped over, uh, the missus' his older sister, uh, this, this afternoon. And she's been retired now for a year. And uh, uh, it was good uh, talking with her as far as that goes, and uh, um, because we we, uh, we worked at the same site, she was in a dis- different capacity that I was in, and stuff like that. And some of the folks that we knew that uh, walked the hall, the, the the parquet floor, we would call it. They get this one long hallway. It's a parquet floor. Reminds me of the old Boston Garden there up in uh, um, Boston there. Which I, I I actually saw uh, several Boston Celtic games and uh, Bruin Bruin games there back in the days. Toby, how you doing? Toby, is everybody popping up? Sadie's in the house. Chris Ignition's in the house. Toby's in the house. I right, cool. mm-hmm. appreciate. Um, for me, 
What's going on? Went to work, been going to work, maintaining that. Got Jason for the week, so we chilling. Um, tried out that new platform I was telling you about, Ted and Rich. I did the replay. I watched the re you had a little bit in the replay and stuff. And then yeah, I just wanted to see the video, video look good. And I said, wait a minute, what is he doing here? And then I saw the logo. I said, oh, okay. Um, they do have a lifetime fee. They also have monthly plans similar to the others. Plan was close to restreams. Um, two platforms for free. I'm good with that. Uh, still no co connection to Twitter. And I am noticing these multi streaming platforms are not going to Twitter like streaming on well, I, I think it's because Twitter's got something going with their API right now. They didn't want it to hook up and stuff, or they can't hook right. up. So I think it's that's been almost two years. You know that, right? Mm, and I say that because it cut off the Twitter. Yeah. Cut off of Twitter. yeah. So it's been almost two years that I'm noticing that and streaming on the restream that they've been around. Okay, they're connected. Cool. But we don't see the comments. That's all good said and done. They still go to Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. They go to LinkedIn. You got to custom on TMP the others. But I'm going to try it out just to check it out, see how it goes. And like I said, new platform. Just want to try something different. Tried to use Vocal yesterday. Wouldn't work. <laughs> At all? Well, I couldn't even, it wouldn't connect to Facebook before, but now it's not even connecting to YouTube. For some reason or another, it wouldn't let me connect to YouTube. And I've done previous broadcasts on that. But it's been mm -hmm. a few. I'm like, I don't mm -hmm. know. And you were logged on, though. Yes, I was logged in, yes. See, I, I can't was, even I log on anymore. I can't log on. I was on. backstage, um, was trying to set everything up, and I was like, oh, it won't even connect. I said, okay. Oh, wow. So then I got the email from the company because I sent them a, I tried to get on last week and they didn't do it. And they sent me an email. I said, I haven't never get my code. They said, you don't have your code? I said, no. I got an email a few days later. Yesterday, it's like, okay, we got you connected on the back end. Cool, appreciate it. They want to set up an interview with me. And I'm like, okay, I can do that. Okay. Which, that's cool, because I did an interview with the people on Pacocha last week. One of the guys called me. And we talked for about an hour. He was asking about trying to expand the uh, American audience or the American customers. So I gave him a couple of ideas, told him about myself. It was It, it was fun. These new companies want to talk to us and they want to right. see what, what we can do to help expand their brand or their product, which I don't have a problem with. I just gave them the truth from my aspect. Right. How I broadcast and listening to each other helps with mm -hmm. that. That's what they need to know. What are, we yep. Yep. Yeah, what are we want? What are we looking for? What do we want to do? How are we going to use the platform properly? And I say properly on purpose because we're not coming up here to troll. We're coming up here to broadcast, honestly. You got viewers, you got broadcasters. Say we're the broadcasters. What are we looking for? How do we want to get out? And I'm going to throw it out there. Twitter is not connecting. I need to talk to the Twitter folks. Next to yeah. so these are global companies, correct? These are companies that are, these are based global, outside the US? Multi, yes, they're multi stream. Yes, they're global multi streaming platforms. This one, I believe, they're out of Asia. I did notice okay. that from the name. I'm not sure which country. And I would I would like to talk to them. I know the coach is out of Japan, I believe. Okay. And they're trying to expand out here. So a lot of the platforms that we can use and even some of the ones that we can make money on, I'm looking at. Anywhere right. we can go, we can monetize doing what we do. So you got to Taking the advice of everybody else. You know, start looking mm -hmm. at ways of making money because we're up here too much. They're right. Let's do it. Other than that, I'm just chilling. Um, Ted, I know you saw the link I put up. Rich, I don't know if you saw it. Former quarterback of the New England. Patriots. Oh yeah, I heard. I heard the news. I got. I got the article up right now. And stuff. Ryan like Mallard died. I think he drowned. Tripped yeah. me out. Yeah. I liked him when he was in Arkansas. He was a good quarterback to me. Yeah, he right. was good in Arkansas. I saw him. I know he didn't do too good with the Patriots, and that's yeah, it's, what I saw in college. I remember. I, he was. I guess he was a backup to Brady and stuff. I don't remember him at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember, the Patriots. I, I remember him uh, in Arkansas. Arkansas was pretty damn good. with <laughs> He was good yeah. in Arkansas. He really was. Yeah. He was good. Yeah. Well, he, he came from another. What was it? He was somewhere else before that. Before. Uh, he, uh, Steven, what's, what's going on? Yeah. So is this? Uh, yeah, that's. Tra but drowning. He said, "It's like what the? Heck? I, I have. I, I don't know how I had. I just heard about it as far as the, the headlines and stuff. And it's like, how, how do you drown? You know, especially being. I don't uh, know. I don't know. You no, know, it just unless he got hit. And unconscious, and then went under. That 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 that's feasible. That can happen, yes. But I'm noticing a lot of people are drowning, and that's what's so awkward about it. Um, I, I haven't heard much about him since he wasn't in the NFL, or mm -hmm. at least since his rookie season. He hadn't heard much about him, so it shocked me. He was 35. Wow. Yeah, he was young, and yeah, we're gonna say young because all of us older than 35, dog. <laughs> yeah, it's right here. It's uh, Florida around 12 p 12:30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Or two twelve two twelve p.m. 
this afternoon. Wow. Yes. Gulf yes. of Mexico. Near a sandbar, struggle to make make way back to shore. So that, that indicates an undertow. Yes, I did hear undertow, but I don't even know where there would be one in the Gulf of Mexico. The current isn't that strong down there. And I've been to those beaches. That water's kind of... Well, Ted, you've been there. Down, when you've been down to Panama City, that's, that's Gulf down there. Yes. Yeah, that's what... That's still what I've been Panama City. I've been Pensacola. I've been to Gulfport, Mississippi. That's still oh, okay. He, he used to play with University of Michigan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's Jeeves was good. Jeeves. Anything else you got going on, Ted? Anything happening out there? No, 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 no. It's 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 really straightforward. Um, I did have a question for you, Tony. Yes, sir. I, I want to throw. I, I usually do have a question for you. I think okay. every week. When, when don't you? When don't you have a question? <laughs> uh, where is it? Oh, oh, here we go. All right. So we tend to not really do too much politics up here, right? Right. Oh yeah, I remember this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Pete Buttigieg, the transportation secretary, warned airlines to finish retrofitting planes to avoid interference from 5G signals. Mm -hmm. So this is like right around the corner. This is like he's warning the nation's airlines that Friday flights could be disrupted starting this week because planes lack updated equipment to prevent interference from transmissions from Wireless companies. This is an ongoing conversation with Verizon, AT and T, T Mobile, you name it. And I, something that I just want to point out here is, I think Delta said 190 of their 900 planes aren't equipped with this 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 technology to deal with 5G. Uh, Look, Delta Airlines said 190 of more than its 900 planes won't be equipped with updated radio altimeters by the deadline and could face restrictions operating in bad weather. The airline said it would route them carefully to limit disruptions while it works with a supplier to retrofit more planes through the summer. Tony, can you help us out with this? From what I understand, 5G is not designed to work within two miles of an airport. That's the best that I have. Um, they never wanted cell phones to be used while they were in flight, about to take off. Once you was in the um, plane, most, people, most times when you fly, right before they take off, they say turn your phones off because of the mess of the signal. I'm not entirely sure how. That's a whole other world from what I do. And um, So if you don't mind, Yes, what's Can up, Helmer? Listen to this. You could be facing some delays, so be prepared for this. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg warning travelers they could face disruptions ahead of a July 1st deadline. Aircrafts that don't update their equipment by that day will not be cleared to land in certain weather conditions when visibility is low. The updates are to avoid potential interference from 5G wireless signals. July 1st, U.S. wireless companies plan to boost their 5G service to higher power levels. So this is this 5G is used to for an onboard system to land the aircraft in inclement weather, which um, th my feeling on that, if it gets too inclement, uh, yeah, because I've, I've been on some aircraft in some real hairy weather and uh, such. I haven't been hey, on Helen. an Airplane in over 25 years though, but uh, um, uh, it's an upgraded system. It's a, this short line deadline though. It's telling me where's the pre-planning. They must have had some pre-planning. This isn't just so oh, they just thought about upgrading this. And uh, oh no 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 no! I'm with you on that. No, yeah, this, this yeah. Is not but this, it, this, it, this has been in the works because they didn't know how they were going. It, to do is it. this uh, another? Because I'm not a Buddha Veg uh, fan because he's done some mm -hmm. stunts before that um, all of a sudden he pops up in the, the headlines and stuff like that. Um, as far as his, what's it all entail? 
can an aircraft still land and stuff okay he's saying it what what's the experts he's not i don't really consider him even though he's the secretary of transportation he has some experts there but let's hear some from some of his experts it's true it's true this is something that i know as much as is it new um we've been hearing stories like this like when hard deadlines are set like this rich yeah this has been probably an ongoing conversation for the last Oh, I don't know, 12 months, easily, nine months, 12 easily. months, so, 18 months, but everyone likes to drag their feet. That's true. That, I, I agree with that. Yeah, yes. But uh, it's like, uh, is it going to completely, you're going to be inconvenience. Yeah. <laughs> Who is an inconvenience traveling by <laughs> air now? <laughs> Everyone's inconvenienced. I, I, I think I told you guys last week, I had went down to Raleigh for a weekend. Mm -hmm. Got stuck in what was the name of the airport? Was it close to Raleigh? Yeah, it was really close to Raleigh. Um, so you was out in Kannapolis? Mm -mm. If it wasn't Raleigh or Kannapolis, then you must RDU. have been RDU. I was in RDU. That's all Raleigh Durham. Right. Yeah. Um, That's about was 40 minutes. Or for like 11 hours. In the airport? In the airport. Oh, Buying, um, you know, uh, $14, 12 ounce beers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just being stuck out there. Um, I don't know. I'm just like, it kind of, you know, number one, there's supposed to be some bad weather coming up. Right. Um, towards the end of this week. Um, so that's one piece of it. Next thing is uh, this stuff with the planes and everything else like that. I'm just, I don't know. Just, it's just a little. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm reading something from writers right now, and they say 80 percent of the planes that are out there for the U.S. are fitted with these, uh, the, this new. It's a, it's, it's not a. It, it has nothing to do with. A passenger having Wi-Fi five. No, it's, it's an actual aircraft component, and they, mm -hmm. it, they and writers are saying eighty percent of the aircraft are fitted. So okay, twenty oh, percent. That's that's going to create twenty uh, percent of anything dealing with the airline. Yeah, there's going to be an inconvenience. It's not going to be a major inconvenience. So it'll be a hiccup. I'll, I'll, it'll be, a, but you got to look at who's painting the story it's almost okay this is coming across is it going to really you know what kind of delay yes i um i know most planes right when you land people turn their phones on everybody turn their phone about five minutes a day in the day going away and i understand people don't even that. listen people don't even listen to that they don't like it's, it's, it's going to be okay y'all turn your phone off for a little bit jesus i've been in the 5g plus um <laughs> i want to say atlanta has it i think new york has it most major metropolitan cities have it. The major metropolitan ones, and it is fast, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. It is stupid fast. What you got to do when you go to these different cities, you got to reset the tower that your cell phone is getting a signal from. I learned that when I was driving to DC, my phone would be glitching and acting up. And they was like, when the last time you reset the tower? I was like, what are you talking about? What they would tell you to do was like, put in airplane mode about five or 10 minutes, turn it back on, it'll reset to the closest and the nearest tower. So a lot of times when you're going somewhere, if you don't reset it, you're still trying to pick up a signal from where you were at home. Now that was 18, 20 years ago. What you got right now, reset it to where you're at locally and watch your phone pick up. Right. Watch your so, phone. Just to be clear on what I, I, I got it. Oh, shoot, that freaking pop-up came in again. Jeez Louise. You're going to get them. You're going to get them, trust me. Yeah, I'm going to get it. It just... Uh, but they said something that the majority of the aircrafts that aren't fitted are foreign in nature. So, um, you know, you know, you can paint things with a broad brush and then it makes it look mm -hmm. worse than it actually is. And, uh, yes. um, you know, it just said, okay, is this the, air, is this the airliner's fault or, you know, that's the impression it's what you just said on the headlines there, or is it the supplier that's supposed to be supplying this? If you don't have uh, the mechanism, so uh, in clement weather, right. well, if it's in clement weather, I don't want to be on an airplane to begin with. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to happen. You already know. Once you pick yeah, it up, you yeah. want to go. Exactly, yeah. You want to go. That's what it comes down to. Hey, just one, one last comment, not for the most part connected to this. The way they're pushing 5G in the homes 
and getting rid of hardwired connections. And I tell you, from us, from from us uh, using computers for the last 20 years, 20, 30 years, I wouldn't give my hardwired connection up for anything. You wouldn't give up your hardwired connection is what you're saying. I wouldn't. Really? And they're pushing. I wouldn't either. I wish that. They push your 5G in your homes and hey, you can set this up yourself, you can do all this. Now, like, give me, give me, they push your Wi Fi in the homes. Um, if you want to go with the 5G, as far as that, I understand that. Mm-hmm. I think all wires going away because home phones have gone away. Yeah, true. Yeah, but, but you still the, have- danger, the newest danger is televisions are about to go away to laptops, cell phones, and tablets. Eh, yeah, eh. I'm just go saying. away to where. Everybody's on, like, we're on a computer right now. You can watch the TV shows on your computer. You can watch them on your tablets. You can watch oh, them. I see what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah. it doesn't even pay to have a TV up in the house unless you just got guests. And that, couples that's probably bringing push. the price down on the 80-inch 80, 80 screen TV down. To- they are they are down, yeah. <laughs> they are down. I'm like, look, whoa. And the missus like, no. <laughs> but, uh, I, think it was, I think it was two years ago. If it wasn't two, it was three years ago. I caught a Samsung 65 inch TV. You ready? No, 65 or 70, but it only had two HDMI ports. Mm-hmm. It was 4K and it was 600 bucks. Wow. It was wow. 600 bucks. I was like, what? They're, not selling them. they're not selling them as much. Pretty much, if you get a house, you're going to put a TV up. Okay, fine. Okay. You can even put one in the bedroom, but why? You got your laptop now. Right. You got oh, your laptop. Yeah. The phone. I, I've watched. I've watched TV on the phone. It's I watch hard. it on everything. The, the spectrum. When one battery dies, I watch the other one. <laughs> well, look at the TV commercials. The girl, you know, went during the uh, uh, the uh, March Madness. You know, you know, you got the big crowd because they don't have the five. Well, they're talking about the five G with the signal. I mean, mm-hmm. they're all looking over for the ball game and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, and sports is pushing that a lot. Look at all the uh, the stadiums that are being fitted out with five G. So sure. people in the stands, they can, you know, they 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 want that clicking going on because that's all data that's uh, that they can utilize. Yes, it's, we should have got, got stock and Wi Fi twenty years ago. That's what we should have done. <laughs> it's using that beacon technology when you're in a, I don't know, the last time you've been in the stadium, where they will serve it right up for you. Like, hey, I'm located in this part of the stadium. Well, hey. Here's what's available over here, you know, to, for that end game experience. Mm-hmm. Um, what else are they serving up? There was one other discussion topic I was going to mention, but eh. But um, the, the one thing with the, I don't know if I would, if I had a choice, like we have, a, we had another carrier come in because all, before that, all we had was Spectrum. Another carrier came in because uh, this area where I'm at, uh, it's one of five in the state that got some, 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 backing for rural area to have uh, uh, better internet per se and my sister-in-law she she has it and it, it's a screaming speed and it makes me want to go because I could I, I can't I can't remember it's a lot it's probably just a tad faster than what I got right now okay um, but I'm I'm under the belief of it, it's been working good um, and all that and uh, but to go wireless, there's probably only one system out there that I would, I, I would love to have. Um, but the satellites haven't been directly overhead where I live at, according to the map, and that's the uh, uh, Starlink. Yeah, that's uh, I've, I've done that's a lot weird. of research and YouTube's on that. It, it's a little hit and miss. It's a little, it's gone a little pricey. Mm-hmm. But uh, um, I mean, you can be out in the middle of the desert. And if there's a satellite up there, you're going to have a screaming speed on that. Um, <laughs> just we talked uh, about that about a year or two ago, and um, people were telling me about it. I'm all for it. Um, there's going to be some controversy behind Starlink and even what Elon's doing. But I know people in the rural areas and people in desolate areas need it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah, always seriously it's proven itself already around the world at certain locations and stuff like that. And it uh, works around uh, the entire globe, no matter what they But then again, need. Tony, Ted, it's any system we have, it's only going to be as good as you use it. You don't get really frustrated and you're not, you don't get the uh, technology that's way over your head. Because mm-hmm. sometimes the simplest thing of 
just getting an app on a phone can really frustrate people. Glick was good. Hey, hey Glick, what's going on? Hey, yeah. just, just a quick question. Um, sure. Or it may be a statement. The, the amount of rural locations around just the U.S., we're talking U.S. only, mm -hmm. that don't have available internet to them. Yes. It's insane. It's, well, we talked about that before. Remember we were talking about the schools getting the Wi-Fi? Yes. Yeah, right. one, of the emphasis is, one of the emphases that I had was these schools needed. The rural, rural schools always got a bad rep compared to city schools. We all know this. They've always gotten a bad rep. And a lot of it was due to advanced technology, um, television, cable, better homes, better services, even phones. Now, if they've got the same internet speed as everybody else, even if they're out on their own, everybody's still in touch with each other instantaneously without much of a delay, without much of a stereotype, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And the education aspect of it, online school, and if you can't make it, if it's bad weather and the bus can't get to you, the kids can still be right there doing the thing. I'm all for that. I hey, really Tony, um, the rural area up here, we they have Wi-Fi on the school buses. Ah. I did see that story. That came out around the uh, around the pandemic. Putting the bu putting Wi Fi on the buses and putting the buses in neighborhoods for the kids who are at home schooling and the bus just running the Wi Fi. I think I love it. Bingo. I, I, yeah. really do love yeah. it. I do love it. Yeah. It makes sense. These kids, these, the kids need. It. Let's 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 yeah. get off of the road. I, I, I think there, the there are areas. Uh, mm -hmm. There's there are areas that probably don't. I, I've never come across any because I, up here, upstate New York, wherever you go, I, I've always got a single, single, even, go, you know, I, I always check and I, I make it a habit. I don't have my phone always out, but I'm, I got something to fiddle around. Okay, what type of Wi-Fi is around here? I always do a, a check and it seems like there's always, a, especially around the stores, any store you go in now, boom, because when you're pressing on that key, <laughs> they're getting your data. Because yes. you're inside their store, so they they right. exactly. they see you know they, they they see what you're searching for, and then uh, all of a sudden you get all those commercials from uh, for uh, products relating <laughs> to that. The airports want you to advertise. Helen, the buses, trams, and trains have Wi-Fi on them. There, the tour buses and even some of the long distance bus ride services have Wi-Fi on them as well. I have seen that as well. You got free Wi-Fi in the city center. Yes, yeah, certain certain establishments, certain places have free Wi-Fi, i.e. Starbucks. A bunch of Starbucks folks are people who go there for the free Wi-Fi. Well, I, I'm going to have a rebuttal for you, Rich, because it's New York State. It's yeah. New York yeah. State. Of, of yeah. course it's going <laughs> to... <laughs> And, and you got to live in New York to kind of know. To that. understand. Yeah. I, I think you have to have an, a, a feel for because where you're at in Long Island is a lot different than the city. And then it's a lot right. different than just, I mean, even downstate, down around uh, um, Newburgh and uh, West Point and stuff. Uh, that's where my older brother's at. It's a whole big different story up here as far as. And then that from here going up to Syracuse is a different story, too. So it's a, it's a wide range. But, yeah, New York State. uh it can be unique at times. <laughs> it can be. It's just like, hey, you know, I mean, uh, similar to some of our comments from, from Helen and from Chris, I mean, our, our trains, um, and, you know, any way that you're commuting, yeah, there, there's free Wi-Fi. You know, I, it's great to surf, but I mean, would I do online banking on that free Wi-Fi? Maybe not. But right. it's available for you. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do something with him. Do something with him. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I, get, I, I don't know. I'm wondering about that myself, Glick. I just I just happened to be here, you know. This <laughs> is like popped in. <laughs> oh Glick, we're gonna invite you up. We um got like maybe one or two more topics. Wi-Fi you no, know, we can't live. No, we can't live without Wi-Fi right now. And that's the truth. That is the truth. People are using Wi-Fi so they don't have to pay for their data. However, public Wi-Fi is not necessarily the safest. We've covered that on more than one occasion up here. Yeah, you that gotta use it sparingly. I, I do use it, but I, I'm aware of where there's certain areas that I know that and I don't I'm not camped out on there and stuff like that. It's like it's like making a phone call and stuff like that. Yes. There are people that it just still amazes me to this day that they're, they're they kind of, oh, 
they constantly had their phone in front of their face and stuff like that uh, as far as that goes and that's, uh, me. that's me well yeah that's the culture we live in you know I, i've come to terms with that and it's just like it's just I, you know i got uh, some young adult kids so it's the same way they, they it's constantly in their hand i'm finding myself here at the house since being retired i have it in my hand a lot too because i got i'm always got the wi-fi uh, on it as far as uh, for the house here if i'm working out back or something like that or i'm, I'm outside but uh um it's we're connected we're a connected world and, and we're becoming more so each and every year and uh as far as that goes and uh lady uh lady helen says glick i've never been invited yet must be men no no it's not <laughs> I, I don't know. It, it's just, uh, I feel, I, I thank Ted, you know, this is a real treat for me and stuff like that because I'm not usually on the late nights. I'm a, I'm, I'm the, the morning guy, I guess. And uh, um, yeah, He's the morning guy. He's got to get up tomorrow and watch. But, uh, you know, the one thing is that, that with all the new, look at, just look at where this, this internet has come just in the last five to 10 years. And, you know, we've, we've, we've gone over it, you know, Tony and me many times as far as just uh, during the pandemic, that, that big boost. That's why we're all here too, because, uh, you know, what else was there to do than to be online and uh, chit chat with people and stuff like that. Have fun with it. Um, I want to throw this in there. I know I'm supposed to wait a little bit, but I just want to let everybody know. I finally finished watching all seasons of Star Trek Discovery, and I'm about to start Strange New Worlds. So I get caught up with oh. you. So, what did you think of the episode, Ted? Oh my! I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it. He hasn't watched season one yet. Yeah. No, but, but I'm just season saying. two, episode yeah. two, was awesome. Did you? And the undertones in the episode were also awesome. Uh-huh. But you 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 know the, the 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 pinnacle point of that whole episode was her end of uh, statement there at the end. Of, I mean that was yes. just like, yeah, wow, yes. it just hit me like a ton of bricks. It's like wow, that's good TV right there. This technician, I did see that. Um, Marvel got that new show, Secret Invasion. Oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Jesus! <laughs> Tony, you want me to on my beard? <coughs> hey, gentlemen. Hey, Rich, what's going on? Long time no see, man. No, I, I've been around. I, been been here, there, and stuff like that. As far as well, that I, goes, and I, I catch all your replays. Unfortunately, you're live way before I'm up in the morning. So. <laughs> you would have been and made you get up all the time. <laughs> Work until six thirty in the morning. By the time I get up, I'm getting a replay notification. <laughs> well, no, he's um he comes on around six now. Rich doesn't necessarily pop at five thirty. No, I've been trying. I've been trying right about five thirty, and at least before quarter of now. Uh, mm-hmm. Like I did a radio, a, my mix called radio clock cl- uh, broadcast. Uh, I, that's pre-recorded, and it's up like two minutes, five minutes after I'm done. But uh, that's usually at about seven o'clock. That gets posted yes. or something like and, that. And, so and I say that uh, because I know your time your times would vary, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That makes total sense. Um, I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw a cheap plug out there, ladies and gentlemen. What you're looking at right now is pretty much the forefront of Bill King's fantasy football league coming soon when regular season starts. Of course, we could talk sports at any given time, but I've been trying to give these guys a break because the regular season hasn't started. Even though we try to cover XFL, Rich has been keeping up with the USFL and the CFL. I've been slacking. I appreciate Rich for being there during the off season covering everything. I appreciate. I appreciate Glick for coming through in the regular season. I appreciate Ted for popping up when he's able to because Ted is a very busy man. Okay, I'm done. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mr. Ted, how you doing? Glick, how you doing, brother? Thank you for having me, bro. Don't oh, you know on. show on Thursday nights? Thursday nights, but I'm watching something on TV live, and it's on Thursday at 10 o'clock. So oh, okay. these two gentlemen were so uh, honorable and joining uh-huh. tonight. Yeah, no, I, I, I got the notification. I was uh, doing the Glick show, and it went a little bit longer. Yeah. Than, and uh, I was like, oh, I got to end this show because I can go watch my man do his late-night parenting. And uh, and then, I, of course, I had to harass you guys a little bit. I didn't expect to get an invite, but thank you. <laughs> oh, please. Invite's always open. 
He had been begging to get up here for months. Ted don't love me no more. <laughs> I like okay, first and foremost, Ted, I, I, I admire you a lot, man. I look up to you. That's kind of weird to say, I guess, but to a certain degree. Well, so, right now you're looking up to me. Yeah, I oh. really <laughs> so oh. I, enjoy your, I enjoy what you do, and I do have fun when I get to come in here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, feelings mutual. Like like I said, in the um previous world, in the Haps world. When I would see your show, I was just like, that's different. And I just kind of, it was just like, I would see your show. And then I would also see, uh, Helen. Okay. You guys are always welcome. Yeah. We're going to just. <laughs> Helen's always messing with always us. Welcome. She keeps us in. Yeah, because then it looks like it's just, you know, like a, a sausage festival or something like that. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it happens. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, no, when when I used to watch Haps, I would watch your show. And um, I was like, all right, that's cool. That's different. We're, we're and, a breed. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I I like it. It's a it's a man's man type of show. It's a man's show. Man show, man. you know. I, I, unfortunately, it is, and I hate, and I hate that it's called a man show because you know everybody's welcomed and 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 everybody can come and hang out and with us. But it, I mean, it is. It's 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 unfiltered, unhinged, uncensored, just dude talk. It is life. man talk. Seriously, man talk. I've always said that from day one. Is man talk. But that's what I've been enjoying about doing the Glick Show. Um, the last cup uh, tonight, I did the third episode. Um, I don't have to focus so much on 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 doing like what we do on nonsensical nonsense. I can just mm -hmm. be on there and just just be there. I get to be a little bit more real, a little bit more, yeah. uh, you know, sincere. The, the the funny comes naturally, um, you know. It, it, well, not naturally, but organically, you know. I, yes, but it's 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 more real, as as Leggy calls it. She said, "I need to rename it Glick Therapy and not the Glick Show." <laughs> <laughs> How different is it than, okay, so you're, for the most part, like the facilitator or the moderator of Nonsense a Little Nonsense. How different is it when you're just rolling for, you know, for, for, for Dolo? It, it's, in all honesty, that's kind of how I got my start. But it, it, but it was a lot more uh, fan interaction when I was like on Periscope and, and even TikTok, I, I was solo for many years. So then I made the new adjustment to having co-hosts, which is awesome, you know, and now rolling back into, and I'm only three episodes into the Glick show. So some people are still, a lot of people have asked for it. I know Tony really mm -hmm. got on me and was really kicking me in the butt and saying, dude, you, you need to do your solo stuff. And, uh, yeah, for you, for for you, for a lot of people that miss it, and you know, we all do our own thing, and we can all come together. I, I emphasize that more than anything. We can always do our own thing, but I just love when we all come together. This this is what's missed, in my opinion, with a lot of people. Even as we put it out there that we all still see each other, because people are asking about us whether we know it or not. Mm -hmm. We got we got to throw it out there more than anything. Leave the door open, carry the conversation, show that we can still vibe and still do this properly. Well, and, that, and 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 I think it's a lot, the thing. A lot of people are are starting to learn that. Oh crap! Chris is coming, or Glick is coming back, and he's doing his solo thing again. So they're mm -hmm. still slowly starting to kind of trickle in, and and you got the nonsensical nonsense fan base that are enjoying. Excuse me, the um, this this different version of me, where they they in all honesty they see us on nonsensical nonsense, and we're just wilding out. I mean, we're just we're just having a good time. We're cracking jokes, and then they see me, and I, and I come in with tonight. Not so much. Um, it was just kind of a spur of the moment thing. Um, but I come in with topics and stuff that I want to talk about. But I still try to integrate the the chat as much as they want to be there. Um, yeah, you know, I was yeah. actually to, to, to end the show, and one of our future guests popped up in the in the chat box and and hit me with the subject that I'm going to bring up tomorrow night, Tony D. And, I, and and then and then we just kind of kept rolling with that. 
Um, there was no we. It was just you. <laughs> no, no, no. It was, it was the chat. It was, the chat was going in, and and of course they got their shots in on me. They were clowning me. So, oh, yeah. so, so it, it, it's, in in this world, it's 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 not what I'm used to being solo. Ted, to answer your question, this is a no. whole this is a whole new uh, adventure or venture or experience for me actually planning something and not just turning my camera and my mic on and and going i'm actually trying to plan stuff and have stuff ahead of time so it's it's a little different it's it's challenging but i'm i'm accepting it you know it, it's fun i i spoke with my buddy true armor how's he doing they see him he up in the and... oh yeah i ain't seen true in a hot minute yeah he had i don't know he sprained his ankle or tore a ligament oh wow but, um, he can turn on his camera and go for about four hours straight. <laughs> uh, and I'm like, how in the world? Rich, he was. He was going off about a year. Hard. Yeah, I'm just like, like, like a solid yeah, hour yeah. at that and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, the, was, you know, the, he had not, audience. Not, I was you know, about four long. hours. It's uh, that's that's really long. I I could probably do a gaming if I was doing a game, but an actual just sit up here and and uh, do the chit chat. Well, the, it depends. If you have a real act, and this comes back to the chat, if you have an active chat, because I tell you, there's uh, mornings where the, the chat will just make the show. Yes, just make the broadcast and stuff like that. Was it, was uh, it yesterday morning? No, no, no. It was maybe it was yesterday. I jumped into your chat. Rich oh. and it was popping. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, for Monday. Mondays, uh, usually it's a Friday and stuff like that. But you know, I I appreciate you know just one or two people in. But oh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you, you get the people going and flowing and uh, uh, as far as that goes. And uh, um, you know, it's just uh, uh, I would listen to that for hours, honestly. As far as what's that, Helen? Uh, well, oh, the chat. With True Armor, no, True Armor, he would go for hours. She loved it. I oh, would okay, yeah, 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 yeah. If you got someone very mm -hmm. interesting, you don't realize how much time there is and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Like True that. would smoke me on politics, and we've had conversations, discussions, and, and yeah. conversations. Yeah, really, you know, I'm not going to lie, Ted. I ain't going front. I was just watching your crowdsourced episode the other day, and I was like, oh my god, I, I, I owe I owe Joy an apology. <laughs> <laughs> I owe Joy an apology. I was like, oh my God. But it, I see what everybody was talking about. I said, okay, let me sit back. Let me chill. Let me chill. But we had fun. It was a great conversation. It was me, you, True, Carlinda, Joy, and Bathurst. Uh, monster. Okay. Monster episode. Monster, monster, monster. monster. Dude, I, I, and I'm going to keep saying this. Y'all got to watch some of the stuff we used to do up there. We had some great conversations. Outstanding. Multiple people. Yeah, I actually had to regulate because I was lit that night. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Rich, <laughs> you're here, and I believe Chris is in the chat. Can mm -hmm. I do my inaugural Go dinner report? You well, never, actually, you've never well, done you even done. able to say that. If Chris is in the thing, uh, if if Chris you know about the dinner the report, chat. it's Chris. Chris Tech's thing, okay? Yes, it he is. comes to every other broadcast. We all know Chris yeah, well, uh, from Denver, yes. New Mexico. And, uh, you know, he comes in on my broadcast and stuff. I'm aware. He reminds me, but I try and beat him to the punch. But you're beating him to the punch right now. And you called it. This is your broadcast. So he, he's in the audience. He's in the chat. So uh, uh, that's where you would say, hey, Chris, um, you want to give us a dinner report? And then, then whoever wants to take part. In there. I, I incorporated that. That was, you know, and, and that came out of the chat. So I got a spoiler funny. alert for you, Rich. I got a spoiler alert for you. You can tell where he's not there because he hasn't said it yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his, it, well, that's the thing. He Sometimes he gets sidetracked and stuff because he he's not in the chat and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah. you that know, and his, uh, until somebody, you know, Jeeves might be texting him right now. Hey, get your ass back on Ted's broadcast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I don't know if he's still there, but... Uh, we we had some 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 outstanding uh, uh, what was it what it like a taco taco thing it was Taco Tuesday I guess soft tacos that were great that the missus made up with a cabbage salad that was really good so that's my dinner report 
<laughs> I had um, I had some leftovers. Jeez, I see you over there. I had a uh, leftover chicken wing, chicken tenders, and um, fries from Wild Wing Cafe. If you ever have a Wild Wing Cafe in your area, I highly recommend the uh, Wild. Yeah, Chef because Saturday. we had the dinner report yesterday, Ted, and I cut you off because you didn't you didn't get your dinner report in. Yes. I, I know you said to put it in, but the, the show went off the air. You were like, yeah, you yeah, started yeah. the music, and yeah, I, I think I, I was at. <laughs> you're gonna laugh because I was at the train station. I hadn't even okay. gotten on the train. I was sitting there typing away, and next thing you know, you were like, "All right, everyone, yeah, you guys must have said Bazinga and Bazinga, everything else, yeah, and the next yeah, thing you know, yeah. boom." Yeah, like we yeah. said, last minute you know, too. The and there's some people that are in the broadcast. There's a gentleman that's out there in Michigan. It's called Hell Hellraisers or something like that. He's yeah. a radio guy that's out in Michigan, and he's a real nice guy. Uh, he starts at seven, so I, I usually, yeah, that's why I try and get out be off, off before seven because I know his broadcast comes in and stuff. I try not to overlap on other people's broadcasts and stuff right. because you know, Jeeves goes there. Um, Chris Technician goes, uh, Lady mm -hmm. Cat, and several other people. Uh, Tina from uh, the uh, Tina from uh, oh, yeah. Jersey there, mm -hmm. uh, which I haven't seen. She's she's taking care of some real life stuff and stuff like that. But it was good oh, seeing okay. her up uh, Friday and stuff like that. That uh, she used to be on every morning that when I was up. So and then when you don't see the uh, people in the chat, you say, "Well, what's going on?" and stuff like that. And right. And, and uh, you get a little concerned, and then when you do get the, the cross feeds, um, right. Tony, who are you talking to? I got the other app going in the background trying to get people. Oh, on. okay, you're doing the yeah, dual thing. Okay, <laughs> I I caught. I no, I do it all the time when I broadcast. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I used to flip around. I would go like heckle, yeah. then TikTok, then yeah. Instagram. I would switch them all up. If I do a two-hour show, I'm gonna switch them up. I just try to bring people around, man. I'm just gonna see this. I'm just gonna say this. I had chicken Caesar salad, but nice. I cut up a red pepper and a green pepper to add to it. Nice. I had uh it's good eating. That's always good eating. Always good eating. I love it. And um we have Kroger's here. I don't know if you guys have Kroger's in your area. I, I know what Kroger's is. I don't have I, I've heard of it. Yeah, yeah. Same here. Kroger's has these like um pre-made meals, so everything is in there and it and it's from there, it's like from their deli and stuff like that. So, uh, my man Mark, what's good, Mark? <laughs> what's going on, brother? Um, uh, Nikki had bought me uh, street tacos, right? So had like the uh, carnitas and every, like everything was in there. Literally, all I had to do was throw the steak in a pan, cook it up real fast, and it had the taco shells and 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 uh, all the toppings and guacamole and that. That's that's what I had tonight, man. It was it was actually really good, man. That's Kroger, pretty good. Kroger doesn't play around with their with their like deli and 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 um, they got a really good sushi joint in, uh, inside. They make their own sushi. Yes. Uh, so. And the thing, the other thing I like to say about the dinner report, though, it's a Chris technician thing. But every time we say it, it, it reminds me so much. It, it's sort of like bringing something from the past. And we all were on Periscope in one form or the other. I was more of a viewer. Matter of fact, this, uh, I'm looking at this right now. This I bought this primarily because of Periscope. I've got pieces of hardware here for the various platforms we're on and whatnot. But uh, um, they, they used to, and Glick, you might, you, I know you were big on uh, the Periscope and stuff. Yeah, yeah. What's in your refrigerator? Yeah, yeah. I, you, uh, Rich, do you, the what's in your refrigerator? Yeah. You know where that started? The very no, first in no, your give us the background. It was on the Glick show. Oh, what's ah? The very oh, first what's in your refrigerator array was on, mm. and at that time it was called. Baby I, I just know that went off, and somebody asked me a couple times, yeah. and uh, uh, the few times I did broadcast, I said, "You know, look, I'm not going to go show there you." Was, right. There was a guy who was who 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 watched my periscopes and was in there, and he popped in one night, and he said, "I want you to get ready for an influx." We're about to blow it up, and it did. It blew up, and that question was, "What was in your refrigerator?" And I broadcasted from my Ooh. garage down in Charleston when I lived down there, and my refrigerator in my garage was full of beer. I had I had probably ten different varieties of uh, domestic, um, imported, or local craft brews. 
uh, mm -hmm. Pepsi and Mountain Dew, and they're like, "What's what's in your fridge?" And I was like, "What are you talking about?" And they're like, "Just show us your fridge," and that's what they said. They said, "This is the first time that we tried this was in here, and it was insane." The amount of people that came through, uh, just various uh, other periscopers who came up with this idea and they all supported it and they just brought all their followers and they just flooded. Yeah, that's, and that's how I look at the dinner report. So you, you're just verbally saying you're not showing what you had for dinner, but it, it gives a little piece of what what goes on um, uh, in your world as far as the night before and stuff like that. So and I don't know, Mark may remember it. Uh, Chris might remember it, too, because Mark and Chris are are both OGs, friends of mine from from Periscope. I've known these guys for 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 years. Uh, from my Periscope channel. Um, so they might remember that night. I don't know if they do or not, but uh, it was, that was that was crazy. It was insane. And then just to watch it keep growing and getting bigger and bigger on Periscope, it, it, it became its own uh, monster. It was like its own entity that nobody could control. Excuse me. What's up, Mandy? Oh, yeah, everybody coming through. This is what's up. What's going on, Mandy? This is what's up. Good, good, good. Ted, you got anything else, bro? Uh, two things. Two quick things. That's right. Can, any of you guys watch Roku? Any of you guys? Well, I'm just, Roku I'm, I'm, you're saying that I'm looking at your your blog right now, and I'm like, I've got oh. a, that's a Roku on here, and I'm going, whoa, that's pretty interesting. Like Roku that's interesting. Or Roku. Formula E racing. So racing. Roku is finally dipping their feet into live sports. Oh, this wow. is, this is Roku. They need to. They need to. Roku is pretty good. I like Roku. It is. Yeah. It is. Shout out, to, shout out to Information Man. He's on Roku. Ah. Every, everybody, um, all, all these, I've, I've never seen Roku TV. We've only got one Roku in the house. My son has it in mm -hmm. his bed. Mm -hmm. but, but all these streaming sites are getting into this live stream uh live streaming world with and especially yes. and they're diving into sports yes and that and that's huge it doesn't matter what 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 sports you get into maybe how you doing is, um you know these these streaming uh channels or or apps or whatever they're taking over the world i mean at the end of the day we all have them i, I don't know how many of you, do you, any of you guys still have cable in your house Yes. No, I, I still have cable out in the living room and stuff, and uh, well, I, and I, but I also have a Google TV uh, dongle out out there too, which uh, um, it's it's similar to Roku. Uh, it's got the apps and stuff like that with it. It's just I think it's just it, the Roku. Uh, well, you had Google TV, but Roku, I mean, they took away my second line as far as when that went to Spectrum here years back. So the way around that was okay, get a Roku. So for I think it was like 25, 30 bucks. Yeah. Slapping on there. Boom. I've got, I said, like, wow, this yeah. is good. It's a, it, it's yeah. a pleasant experience as, as far as it uh, goes. The only yeah, thing I don't like is uh, that they, they don't have a true Twitch channel on there like they used to. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that is. Now on Google, the Google TV, you can get Twitch. I, I can watch Twitch out in the living room as far as on the big screen and uh, as far as that goes. But, uh, um, but, Ted, you've talked about the, all, you know, all these other uh, TV entities getting into, you know, various segments of sports. Like they're trying to, you know, they're getting their feet wet. Yeah. Because uh, I don't know if that's an indication that sports is becoming, you know, Formula One. Who who watched Formula One before? Who watched soccer? You can find it all over right. the TV now. Right. It's because, all over. Well, I mean, it's the, the one thing that's drawing eyeballs. Yep, you know the coolest thing Hulu did was teaming up with ESPN when they when they teamed up with Disney and you you get your Disney Plus and you get the premium package, you get Hulu and ESPN, and then Hulu teamed up with ESPN, and now you yes. get a, you get a lot of soccer on on Hulu, especially right now this time of year. Yep. You get a lot of soccer and college sports on on, yes. on Hulu. Uh, once football rolls around, you get a lot you get a lot of college games that you know. A, Ten years ago, most of us wouldn't wouldn't have cared about. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, none of us would have would have would have thought twice about watching uh, Colorado versus Wyoming. Nope. But but because now we, that, we we never had it available to us. Now that it's available, oh, let me check this. Just like watching. Okay, I can watch Canadian football. 
Mm-hmm. Right. Oh, yeah, exactly. CFL and stuff like that. But yeah. now that we're rolling into the new era of college football with the with the playoff system and actually having a legitimate playoff system right. in college football, you're gonna find more people are paying attention to these these Wyoming versus Colorado or uh Utah State versus Utah games because they're gonna impact these playoffs uh next year when we roll into the eight team uh playoff system that is based off of wins and losses and not a committee voting uh who gets into the playoffs. Ted, just to let you know, to Carl said what's up. I got hey, Tara, how you doing? So yeah, it, it, so I mean these these streaming networks they're 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 on they're on point. I mean, and they're bringing new viewers, uh, like you said with Roku F one. I'm F one school, but have any of you guys ever watched F one? Yeah. I mean, unless you're just scrape, unless it's like the Indy five hundred or the Brickyard or something like that. Right. Well, the Indy five hundred is because of the engines. There's, I don't even think they they run a, an American engine in any one of those rigs now and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. Years past, so it's not. Really, is it really truly an American race? Yeah. In the Indy races, maybe not. I'm thinking NASCAR, so you might be right. NASCAR, yeah, NASCAR would be more, but even that is, uh, you know, but it, it's competitive. They're they're trying to change it up. Uh, for as far as NASCAR, when they did that one, uh, they had they're not doing it anymore. I think after this year, from what I heard, that race that's in the um, the Los Angeles Coliseum is like when they first did that. It's like what in the mm-hmm. Coliseum <laughs> they actually had a NASCAR race. You yeah, set up there. It's like wow, is that big. That's my question. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, it, it was that big. I mean, NASCAR. Well, NASCAR itself. I mean, um, it 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 is a huge sport. You know, it is it is it is huge in in racing, whether you like it or not. I mean, I I grew up watching NASCAR. I don't really. I've never really been like a super fan or anything like that because at the right. end of the day, it's like watching baseball. It's incredibly freaking boring. Man. Yeah, you watch these guys drive laps in a circle. Like, you know, but, so, but look, it's got to be incredible to be there for an event. Yeah, to, to, to go to an event, and I've been to a couple NASCAR races. Um, it, it's it's awesome. You will, just you, the noise itself. It's just huge. I've heard it's off the chain from people who have gone and said you will love it. It's excitement. It's a party. But I, you know, the race is exciting to see in person, but also the fans in the stadium. It's not like, you know, like say for instance, um, sorry Philly, but. It is what it is. Y'all are terrible fans. You're the worst fan base in the world when it comes to sports. <laughs> you go to the watch an Eagles game and you're not there and you're not an Eagles fan. Your, your life is in danger. You're, you're, it's, you're true. Tough. it's true. <laughs> you know, it's true. It's um, a tough town. But, but no matter who your driver is in NASCAR, you go to a NASCAR race, everybody in the stands is having a good time. And that's, yeah. how, that's the thing with baseball. I'm a huge Reds fan. I love mm-hmm. the sense Reds. I've never seen the Reds play in Cincinnati. I've seen them play twice in Cleveland, and both times they they just murdered Cleveland. But the fans, even the Cleveland fans, were were cool because the game was fun to see in person. But the fans made the game that much more enjoyable because we were all there having a good time together, despite who we was rooting for. I, trust me, I understand, and it's I and and I live in Ohio, and I understand I'm in the North, but. Ohio should have been in the South. Let's be honest. <laughs> we are the Florida of the North. Let, let's call a spade a spade. <laughs> Might be one of the country's northern states ever. <laughs> we are the we are the most southern northern state you'll ever find. <laughs> no, um, actually, I want to take that back because there's a lot of rural areas in a lot of northern states, mm-hmm. and the South and the North have rural areas. So we got to put the two together: the difference between rural and southern. There mm-hmm. is a difference. Well, we're, yeah, we're in the Midwest. I'm in the I'm in the Midwest, but but no, I mean, and and you know, I've, and I've got buddies of mine who grew up in Detroit and stuff like that. So like the F1, you know, the Formula One, they've had races up there, and they've said the same thing. Like they're not fans, but they've gone to the races and they've had fun. They've had a lot of fun. You know, all the all the the pre race stuff and the race, and then after the race, everything like that. They they have a lot of fun. You know, so. You know, they got fans. You know, same with soccer. I mean, you can't deny soccer. We're Americans. No. Whether you like soccer or not, it's 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 got a fan base, man. And, they're, and yeah. their fans are diehard. Right. What you got next, Ted? 
Um, last up, I have a polarizing figure that I'm going to put on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> None other than Kevin, I don't know what his middle initial is, Durant. Durant. Yeah, good basketball people, player. People like him, people dislike him, people criticize him. They criticize them like crazy, you're right. He's, he's, he goes, he's just heat left and right. Yeah, he goes from uh, super team to super team. He's yes. a mercenary, he's this, he's that. But the one thing I will say is Kevin Durant has been building basketball courts across the, the world for the past seven years. I didn't know that. So the story, the story that we're uh, releasing tomorrow is just talks about his, uh, his impact and his contributions on and off the court. He's built 30 basketball courts. Oh, nice. To extend, wow. You know, just playing the game. Mm -hmm. um, the game that he loves. The game that he loves. And he wants to introduce it to others. Mm -hmm. um, and it fall, falls under the Durant Family Foundation. Now, like I said, whether you, you didn't like him when he joined the, the Golden State Warriors or he left to join the Nets for a super team and now he's in Phoenix, uh, that's the one thing that can't be taken away from him, building these courts worldwide and making them available for people who don't have the access to do it. No, 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 no. He's out there to help out at-risk youth through educational, athletic, and social programs. I love so Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, on that aspect, I'll give you a golf clap. Yeah, yeah, he's a great player doing great things because he's giving back and stuff like that. The, the passion that he loves, and he's a good player. You, 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 whether you like him or not, you know, just like uh, LeBron, there, there, you can't take. You know, he may be coming down. You know, he's not the same as he was back when right. it's heyday and stuff. But he's still, a, 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 you know. We all get old. I know that firsthand. But you, uh, he's 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 channeling some um, some of his uh, his success into so other people can succeed. As far as that goes, that you know, they give them that that uh, advantage as far as having the uh, the the basketball court. You know, there may be uh, some great ball players out there that don't have uh, you know young individuals that don't have the uh, that resource and stuff like that. So right. I, I I don't know what you know. I know he's been in and out. I, I when it's sports, I just concentrate. Durant, I liked him as a player. He had the yes. shot that would just like watching it is like, how did he do that? Yes, and, totally. Uh, so you know the other politics and stuff like that. The you know, way you like him and stuff like that is just like you can't. I'm not even. The, I don't even. He's just a great player, great basketball player. He just is. like, he but is. some of the comments, I think uh, there was one I saw relating to basketball. Um, what's his name? He said if Larry Bird was in the league today, he wouldn't he wouldn't be as great. As, that yeah. you can't. That's that's junk. You know, that, that he, is he junk. played he yeah. played when he played, he played and he was great. You can't take that away from it to say, oh, you put him in today. That's that's wishful yeah. thinking yeah. and stuff like that. He's putting well, his money it's, it's, it's it's just a better. problem. There's a problem when you got to rip someone down. Yes, exactly. And you know, it just like you may not agree with them and stuff like that, but the, the, you know, just their, the the sport itself, and just like uh, that's why I guess I don't really, I'm really anti any type of politics that comes through that door that goes onto the court or on the field. It's like to me, that's the biggest. But people, that's the, the world we live in, I guess, sometimes and stuff. But uh, um, because if I'm saying that, somebody else will say, well, what about this and that? It's like, well, let's just stick to the straight. You know, look at the Olympics. How, how, you know, I don't even, the Olympics have gotten, you know, you're supposed to keep all this politics out and stuff like that. And it's just saturated. It's okay. embedded in there. <laughs> well, you know, the Olympics is politics. Let's be clear. The Olympics it, is politics. It really is. And, and, and Tony, I mean, you and I have had this conversation just recently. What, um, what Saturday night, I think we talked about it again last, last night, you know, KD is one of those cats that, 
you know, he catches a lot of heat, like you said, Ted. Ted. Uh, you know, he, he he jumps from team to team. He's a mercenary. He's this, he's that. But you don't hear anything bad about the guy off the field or off no. the court. I you think know? that's what they can't stand. When you're too good, when yeah. you're too clean, they got they got to tarnish yeah. you. They got to try and find some stuff. Yeah, yeah. They got to yeah. tarnish you. Um, Brown has had one issue his whole career that I've ever heard negative. Yeah. He was speeding. The, the the guy is taking care of his community. He's given yes. back. Uh, you know, I can't remember was it what was it Saturday night? It, just recently, Tony and I had this conversation mm-hmm. about athletes, and you got these knuckleheads out there that are just just doing crazy stuff because they mm-hmm. can't. Whatever, and they're and they're doing all this nonsense, but but the guys who are out there that are 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 you know even even uh, and and we brought him up even Marshawn Lynch as crazy as he was uh, on the field and with media the man the man has legitimately taken care of his community his whole career he's probably put more money into his community than yeah. he made his NFL career giving back. Yeah. But people still want to find the little things to hate on him, and that's not cool, man. That's not cool, especially when you got knuckleheads that are setting all these crazy examples for for these young kids coming up, thinking, "Oh, I'm gonna be an NBA player. I'm gonna play in the NFL. I'm gonna be a hockey player, and then I'm gonna do all this crazy stuff." Well, you, yeah. you look at their character. The character, you know, if they got good character, they're gonna do good things and stuff like that. And uh, agreed. Durant, uh, like I said, I've never heard anything. You know, I, he he comes on the court like you know you, you don't want to mess with him and stuff like that. He he has that. Right. Oh, but the thing, his playing, that's what he's there for to play the basketball and then to be able to do something else. And I think all the players have done something. You just don't hear about it. But it's very easy to hear the negative. The negative always is the first thing that's up there and stuff like this. Well, wait a minute. Let me just put that aside. You know, we just like. Um, uh, unless the person's really a dirtbag and stuff like that, that they don't care and all that and stuff like that. But I think in general, the majority of the people, the, the individuals that do play sports in any any sport that they're trying to strive for something. People that uh, say, well, I don't like sports because they're making millions of dollars and stuff. They've worked for it. Yeah. And I, I think, uh, it, you know, look at this kid that's coming over from France that was the number one draft choice. I mean, yeah. th- this kid, he's a just the way he handles himself. I've seen him, uh, you know, uh, on a couple of interviews and stuff like that. It's just like that's refreshing and stuff like that. It as is. Far as compared it to is. The- Shaq's the same way he was literally in our community rebuild. Yeah. Shaq's been real big and real, real good. Yeah, Shaq is he's he's another league. great player there, but he, he's doing some great works and stuff like that. And it's not just the basketball players. You look at the uh, you know the baseball players, the football players, and uh, you know major you know teams from major sports that will do things collectively as far as that goes. And that that's that's the extra plus that sports um, enables these athletes to do. Right. Well. And like Tony and I were talking when we, when we had this this conversation, these cats that are doing all these good things and they you know and they catch heat for 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 on or you know their antics on the field or whatever. Look at their circle that they have around them. And KD clearly has a has a good circle around him that is going to be looking out for him, legitimately looking out for him, and, mm-hmm. and, and making sure he does what's in his best interest. These, yes. These guys that are acting crazy and acting foolish, you look at their circle, and and at the end of the day, they're hanger honors, and they're and they just they're just there for the money. They're there for the, uh, you know, a problem. Well, it's the the money thing. It, it is a business, so you know that's the reality. To, to, yeah, to example, I think it's Mahomes' little brother. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, this cat, this cat just wilding out for no reason. Uh, and, and, and you, you, you're a terrible basketball player. You're a terrible athlete. You, you're the only thing you have. Your only claim to fame is Patrick Mahomes is your big brother. Yeah, and you yeah. acting a fool, and you killing your brother's reputation because of the way yeah. you acting. Whether you like Pat, and whether you like Patrick Mahomes as a sports fan, because I don't personally like the guy. I give credit where credit is due. The man's a monster. You cannot deny his talent. He is. He is. Uh, I don't like him because of what he does. <laughs> and he's in the <laughs> AS. <laughs> but his brother's out there just just destroying his reputation, man. And like, it, no matter what Patrick does, 
he's got like he's got this little brother just acting a dang fool out there doing crazy stuff. Making bad decisions. <laughs> Very bad decisions. Hey, we're gonna get ready to wrap this up. Um Glick, where can we find you? You can find myself and Tony D. Uh-huh. <laughs> Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, 7 p.m. We do have a new start time now. Uh, on YouTube and Twitch and on all social media at Nonsensical Nonsense Podcast. And if you're down for the Glick Show, same po- same social media. I do have personal social media. Check me out at Glick underscore talk. You'll get all the Glick Show and all the nonsensical nonsense that you need there, as well as our other social media. And then um, Tuesdays and Thursdays, Tuesdays or Thursdays, 8 p.m. for the Glick Show, where I'm doing my solo gig. Cool. Rich Roberts, where can we find you, sir? Um, my mainstay on uh, all these fine social media networks is Twitter, at Fireman Rich. And uh, real quick, Ted, you did have an article there about wrestling. I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but uh, uh, this is according to WBNG 12, Channel 12 News here out of Binghamton here, that there's a bill. Um, if the bill is passed, it would open immediately for not just their company, but other independent wrestling companies thriving um, to expand their current um, thing here in New York State because New York State is one of the most heavily regulated states of wrestling, especially for smaller independent. Uh, so it's, you know, you don't have just these big guys that are on the TV and stuff like that, but there's, uh, um, but I did see you had something on wrestling. Yes, a heck of a lot of independent tours and outlets that are out there Yeah, that are, you know, it's, they're, it's, they're, that are not run by Vince McMahon or run by these these larger conglomerates. And, and on that top goes of- back to what we're talking. There, there's people that are want to watch that, so they're, it's yes. a traveling show, so to speak. But no, uh, Ted, I appreciate you inviting me up and stuff. It's always a pleasure. I really get a charge out of it, especially talking to these two knuckleheads here. So. <laughs> <laughs> Knuckleheads, Tony D. Knuckleheads for life. Oh, we're all knuckleheads. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Before we get to you, Tony D, we want to thank Mandy L. Uh, Jeeves. Uh, we want to thank Lady Lady. Um, also, Stephen Pena, mm-hmm. Sadie. Mm-hmm. And there's a person in the chat called Nonsense Nonsense Podcast. Mm-hmm. The guy, the clown. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to Nonsense Hold Out this podcast, whatever you do. <laughs> hey, we do want to shout out Jojo, um, who does various different um, live streams and audio casts during the week. He uh, really, really focuses on MMA, combat sports, all the above. Um, I love it when he talks about it, too. I can't, he's I can't really, watch it. really good. He's great you know? when he talks about it. He does an amazing. I really thing. enjoy him. Yeah, like I'm, I'm with you, Fireman. I, I, I can't. I, I don't watch UFC anymore. I don't watch N- MMA, but I, I love what Joe you, does. You, you, you get the feeling of what's going on in that sport when yeah. he talks about it. <laughs> he really dumps it down for, and, and not even a casual fan, but yes, for guys who I, I used to love the UFC, but I, I just, it's, it's so hard to watch now. There's too much going on. But JoJo does an amazing job. Oh, it does. Yeah. Shout out to our, uh, also our other brother, Brian TX. Oh, yeah. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jesus. Bad guy. Here. Uh, Brian, we love you, man. <laughs> um, Tony D. Uh huh. Where can we find you, sir? If. Well, if. If we've already checked Tony D dot original on your link tree. I don't know why I do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Chris Technician as well. He was in the chat. Biggest to everybody for coming through. I appreciate it. Definitely. Um, 
I mean, where do I start? You can find me on TikTok, T O N Y T O N one nine seven two three. You can find me on Twitter, T O N Y T O N. You can find me on Rumble, Instagram, and Twitch, T O N Y T O N seven two. You can also find me up a coach chilling out over there, my folks over there. Shout out to my coach, folks. Checking me out. Got introduced to that by my homegirl Takara. She put me on. I have no regrets. Because of everybody in chat, because of everybody checking me out. I probably will be streaming on Thursday. I've been working on a couple of YouTube shorts, taking you all's advice. Just find a news article, do your little five, ten minutes about it, which I have done. So definitely look for me on YouTube as well. T-O-N-Y-D 7444. The random multi-broadcaster. That's D-A, not T-H-E, because I am ghetto. Damn it. Anyway. <laughs> I will be around. You can find me on Nonsense Go Nonsense, my man Glick over there. You can find me here at Late Night Parents, my man Ted Ways to find the show. LateNightParents.com. You can find my man, Fine Man Rich in the mornings on Twitch. He does his morning broadcast and morning coffee. Just give you a little news, give you a little weather, give you a little thought for the day, and carry a little conversation. He used to take his time. Now he's taking more than just his time because he's got time to take and he ain't got a rush. Yeah, I said it. Bill King's fantasy football should be coming soon. Um, I still got to work. Few things out, I know. Rest in peace to Ryan Mallet. I did see that story today that tripped me out. Julian Sands, I don't like that story that I saw. Check your news. Rest in peace to the people we lost in that submersible that was going down there to look at the Titanic. I'm not talking no conspiracy theories. We lost their lives. They got people in pain. Y'all stop being negative on the internet because y'all dirty. I've seen a couple of the memes. Y'all dirty. Y'all got no respect for nothing, nobody, even when they die. I mean, damn. Yeah, but, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Memes are hilarious, Tony. You uh, right. <laughs> Other than that, you all will see me around. Um, I'm notorious for trying to do music broadcasts. I'm trying to work on my new sports and music. I'm trying to find a way to play music without getting booted. And yes, I am also on Fluton. F-L-U-T-I-N. I'm working on that platform right now. Um, trying to expand checking out what's out there, trying to see what's going to be the best, and just getting myself out there, man. Appreciate you, Ted. Thank you. Two final shout-outs. Oh, I forgot. Sunday Night Smoke Podcast on Sunday. Sunday Night Smoke Podcast. There you go. Well, he been on vacation. Threw me out the loop. I didn't do it last week. I'm yeah, you, you see? <laughs> and I also want to give another shout-out to Rick Costa and Carmen who do a fantastic show yep. on your show. Your show. show. All about the joy. All about the joy. Ted, if I may, before you wrap the show up. Um, Go. On the Glick show, at the beginning of the show, one of the first things I do after I do my introduction, um, I shout out other podcasts, let people know where they can find everybody at. Uh, if you guys want to reach out to us, let me know any podcast you're listening to, who you Hi. like, what you're feeling. Let me know so I can shout them out. Um, I'm starting a new thing, <laughs> kind of messed up Saturday night, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but I want to, I, 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 I'm creating, I, I'm going to take it upon myself, um, to start a community where we're all looking out for each other and shouting out each other on a regular basis. So on the Glick show, the very first thing I do after the introduction is shout out podcast guys who are men or women who are doing something, who are creating podcasts. Um, so if you know of anybody, if you like anybody, let me know so that I can shout them out. Tonight I shouted out, of course, all of us. Rich, I apologize, and I know that I I, I totally forgot about you, man, and I apologize, and I knew that I was going to No worries, about. Click. That's fine. <laughs> I knew I was going to forget about a couple people, but let me know no. their, their, their YouTubes, uh, Instagram, Spotify, wherever they're at, so that I can shout them out and let people know where to – Find them. I'm gonna. Take no, them. we become stronger by doing this, though. That's yeah, the thing. Yeah. As a you know, as a as a broadcasting community and stuff like that, which I'm is gonna take that on myself to, to to grow that community where we're all looking out for one another. You guys do a fantastic job shouting out everybody. Um, but I want to make it a mainstay. I want to make it a, a a a staple of every broadcast that that we that we do. Um, starting with mine, I, I you know lead by example and. Yes. and you know, let everybody know where they can where they can find all these other amazing content creators. Yeah. Uh, so feel free to reach yeah. out to Nonsensical Nonsense and 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 let me know. Information man is in the building. What's good, bro? Info man, what's Info going on? Information man, you are joining. You, you're pulling. Uh, 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 you're pulling a stunt. I usually pull. 
on Fire Man Richard's show when I show up in the last 30 seconds of the show. I'm really doing information, man. I'll give you a call. I'll give you a call and see how you're doing. I know we, we text from time to time, but I definitely do owe you a call to check in with you. Um, it's good seeing you, man. I checked your broadcast out the other night, information, man. You're doing it big as always, man. Much respect for real. Rich, I know we have the holiday coming up on July 4th. Are you going live in the AM? What, what was that again, though? You got, you got a little... I said, I know we had the holiday coming up um, July 4th. I know some... That's on a live Tuesday. streams will, 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 will be on air due to the holiday. Are you still oh, wow. planning to keep your Wednesday and Friday? Oh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, yeah. Tuesday, I, I, I probably will... I don't know. It depends on what we're doing here and stuff like that. That, uh, but, uh, but I'm available whenever you know. I don't really like. I said I'm keeping busy, but um, I'm flexible and stuff like that. To where um, the holiday coming up to me, it just to me, it's just I'm on one big holiday anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Rich lives on a good day. Yeah. No, uh, Fourth, Rich, Fourth, Fourth of July is like Memorial Day and Labor Day and stuff. There, there's there's summer holidays to where you just kick back. There's it's not, you have a good time. And uh, if I'm hanging around, I don't usually. That's a Tuesday though. So, oh uh, okay. So yeah, you usually just do Wednesday. audio. Yeah, you know. Oh audio. okay. Yeah, I I might. Yeah, I I still do something. You know, oh, okay. just like, uh, you know, as far as uh, I may not be the mix club, but it may be the podcast because I do Got do. My uh, Fireman Rich Audio podcast on Tuesdays and Thursdays over there on Spotify for podcasters, which is got it. Used to be, used to be Anchor, and uh, but it's it's uh, I love doing the audio. The audio is uh, uh, audio is king, get, buddy. Yeah, it is king. I I do believe that and audio stuff. Is and, king, yeah. and what you're doing with your your broadcast here on late night parenting to to move that over to use Spreaker and stuff like that, I think that's great. And uh, um. And there's some there's some things I could talk about another hour on audio concerning podcatchers and all that and stuff like that. But uh, it's just um, oh, right, so you, Rich. But, well, you're on Spotify too with the nonsensical yeah. nonsense. I, 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 and, and it's a good it's a good place to be as broadcasters to uh, you know you get a lot of the live stream of broadcasters oh, yeah, you don't know about the audio. They can repurpose it, and it's an extra place to place your your um, your show. Badger well, Mix, what's going on? Badgers, how you doing? Badgers. You know, you know the community, the community of podcasters, uh, believe it or not, uh, Twitter is another hot spot. I mean, the the podcasters on Twitter, they and and I, I you know, when we started the show two years ago, mm -hmm. I, I couldn't believe I couldn't believe how many people got behind and supported us. I mean, there there is a community there that the, the legit broadcasters, the legit legit content creators they will support everybody to the to 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 know to to no end i mean it's crazy the support that you get from from other broadcasters it's it's really cool um and you know, people who have may never have listened to your show one time will support your show like crazy um but yeah there's 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 definitely a healthy community out there and spotify is awesome spotify is doing big things for us, us, quote unquote. Um, and this isn't no shade in any way, shape or form, but us quote unquote, small guys. Yeah. You know, Spotify is really looking out for us, which is oh, awesome. Man. You know, well, the last podcast I want to shout out is the Brooklyn Buzz podcast with Jack Manuel and Nick Fay. I always listen to it. They talk Brooklyn Nets and when that only He froze. Did we lose him? I say Ted froze up. He froze. He might be back, but he froze. Can give him a minute. <laughs> uh, let me shout out Jeeves, Mr. Twix over there on Twitch. MR underscore TWIXXZ. He does his thing on Twix every now and then. Shout out to Helen, Lady Lady 01, Helen on the radio. Follow Helen's mixtape on 365radio.co. She pops up on Twitter. Follow her on Twitter. She will show you when the show comes. What's up? Leggy's information. Yeah, that's what I was just doing right there. Cause, Leggy cause, on Helen on the radio. You'll see up there. She comes on Thursday afternoons. I think it's 4 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time for us because she's over oh, in the U.S. 
Yeah, send me her information because I, I, because I, I just I, told it to you. Why I still gotta send it? I just told well, it I, to I, you. <laughs> send it to me because I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna be honest with you, but I, I, I shouted her out tonight when I was doing my shout outs. <sighs> I, and I, I, there he is. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. He got a little wonky, but I was shouting out the Brooklyn Buzz podcast. Um, yeah, I think we're out. I lost my internet connection. You've been glitching. I know you're good, bro. I, I've been glitching tonight. You're clicking, Ted. You clicking, man. I'm Information clicking. man show everywhere. Badger Mix on Twitch. Check her out. Follow all of us. All of us follow each other. Damn it, we supposed to be having numbers. We ain't giving them to each other. We ain't supporting each other. We gonna get it. We gonna make ourselves grow. Holla at us. <laughs> Later, guys. Later. Or be good at it. Be good at it.